Polish brethren or Socinianists or Aryans, they are names which are completely unknown to Polish uh, schools boys or to us. But nevertheless, in the last years, uh, some of uh, enthusiasts of uh, representatives of this uh, uh, schools or way of thinking, uh, which I uh, started to to speak, uh, uh, namely Polish brethren, Socinians, uh, or Aryans, uh, started to to write uh, a very uh, important books about them, and perhaps in order to wake your attention or to draw your attention to how important they are and how important they were in 17 or 16 even century Poland or co Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth, I will start from uh, 17th century Holland or Netherlands uh, because they were expelled from Poland in 1658 and they found uh, refugium or home in Netherlands. And it was a very important uh, fact in uh, the reception of the way of thinking because exactly in Netherlands, in the half of 17th century, they were people interested in uh, free thinking or in using our mind, our reason to uh, resolve the religious uh, or ideological even problems. So in any way, what was important and who was the, the most uh, decisive recipient of the message, they were too well known to all of us in Poland and I guess also in Europe and outside of Europe, namely Baruch Spinoza and John Locke. Yes, we have to speak about these two important thinkers who directly uh, came in in touch or in contact with the Polish brethren. And it was the beginning of the uh, world career, so to say. And uh, I think this is not exaggeration when we will say that through uh, John Locke, uh, Polish brethren found way to United States. And we, today we have uh, even Unitarians who are direct descendants of Polish brethren, who clearly recognized uh, the uh, genealogy of Polish uh, thinkers from 16th and 17th century. So I told you about the end, but the beginning of the story was less exciting. Namely, it was the most radical group of Polish uh, reform thinker or Polish Protestants. And uh, they were so hated by Catholics, Lutheran, Ca Calvinists, that all these main uh, Christian groups uh, decided to expel them, as I said, uh, under uh, in uh, six, 1658, uh, because they were too radical, and uh, in. Uh, if you would like to explain why they were so radical or why they were so perceived as radical, I would underline that they were using reason. They were reading Holy Scripture, they translated even into Polish uh, Hebrew Bible and the New Testament, but using only philological tools because they were convinced that religion and Christianity could be reconciled with the rational arguments. So all what was beyond reason, like Trinity, like two uh, natures in one person, that Jesus was uh, perceived as God and as a human being, for them it was all impossible to accept because it was not reconciled with reason. And particularly uh, the basic Christian uh, conviction or dogma on the Holy Trinity that in one uh, 
person, you have three or in one, how to explain it? We even don't have a, a, a good uh, concept to, to, uh, to express this basic Christian uh, conviction as a holy trinity. They rejected this simply. And this is why they are called also uh, anti-Trinitarians, because they were un against Trinity, and so on and so on. So all this, uh, which sounds today as a very normal way of thinking for us, is obvious uh, that we have problems with, with all these Christian uh, dogmas, but for them they not only were first who started to question all, all this dogmatic way of thinking, but they were also brave enough, courageous enough to write, to, to write down uh, and, and to discuss all these uh, questions. And this is why I think, this is why of, of the reason why they were so uh, attractive, uh, so interesting for John Locke uh, and for, for Spinoza. So uh, my uh, master from whom I, I uh, got all my knowledge or, or, or all my wisdom about the Polish brethren uh, Zbigniew Ogonowski, who lately published very important and, and comprehensive monography on Socinianism, according to him, uh, we can say that they were forerunners or precursors uh, of uh, European Enlightenment. Uh, what is important also, and I for some reasons, I would say even the more important than the fact, uh, as I mentioned before, that they were, they they are forerunners of European uh, um, enlightenment. That for many of Polish brethren, of Polish anti Trinitarians, the basic uh, f law or basic uh, right of human being is is his uh, right to. Um, freedom of conscience, that each of us uh, has a right and a liberty to express his or her own religious conviction. And particularly, we can here even um, find textual dependence of John Locke from uh, John Krell, one of the leading uh, representatives of, of, of this group, uh, namely uh, De Libertate Conscientia, we can say, but the, the, the on the freedom of consciousness. Uh, exactly, we can find passages uh, which uh, could be treated almost as, as plagiarism, as a, as a literal translation from uh, John Krell, who ba based his conviction on a literal reading of Holy Scripture. So it was not that, you know, a very abstract way of thinking about, but he's, he said, read carefully uh, New Testament and you will find that there's nothing wrong if we give to every human being a freedom uh, to express his or her religious convictions. And it was revolutionary for, for Polish Catholics and particularly for Polish Jesuits. It was the biggest heresy which you can imagine. How you can leave a person to, to express his or her own religious uh, convictions. The, 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 the contrary is true, that me, a Jesuit or the bishop or the or, or the Pope will give you how and in what to believe. But, but the Polish brethren said not. I have my reason, I have my mind, I have the ability to make uh, uh, rational conclusions from what I read, from what I hear, from what I see, and conclusion could be like their conclusion. They founded a very radical religious group. And I think this is something which, which we need to learn from them. This, this courage to be uh, consequent with my own convictions. Unfortunately, this lesson of Polish brethren in our country was forgotten 
but perhaps uh, the time is, is coming when this uh, basic conviction of Polish brethren will be rediscovered again.